Surface area of a pyramid. A pyramid is a 3D figure with at least three triangular sides that meet at a common vertex and only one base that is a polygon. These sides are called lateral faces. The slant height is the height of each lateral face. So let's draw a pyramid. So we've got our base, which we want to make a rectangular, or a square rather, um, base. So there's my base. I'm not going to be able to see this side. Uh, and then I have a vertex. I'm going to put the vertex up uh, here. Okay. And so I'm going to connect each of my corners to that vertex. And I'm not going to see this one. Awesome. So now we see that we have a base. These are called lateral sides or lateral faces. And then we have a slant height. And so this from the vertex to the edge at a right angle is our slant height. If we open this up, we can create a net. So we're going to have a square base with three, uh, four triangles coming out on all four sides. So again, here is my base. Here is my slant height, which is really the height of our triangle, our lateral face. These are called our lateral faces. So let's look at an example. So let's derive the formula for the surface area using what we know. We have a surface area is equal to, it looks like we have four triangles and they all have the same base length because the base is a square. And so I have four areas of a triangle plus the area of the base which is length times width or in this case side squared right so now I can go ahead and plug in the values I know we have 4 times 1 half the base is 7 and the height is 9 and then the area of the square is 7 squared or 7 times 7 and so simplifying all this, I have 49 plus 4 over 2 is 2 times 7 times 9, and that will give me a surface area of 175 centimeters squared. A couple of things to consider. If this is not a square and it's a rectangle, then we'll have two sides that have the same base for triangles and two more triangles that have the same base for those triangles. So keep that in mind that this could be two times two triangles plus another two times two triangles depending on what the base length and width are. One more thing I want to show you is a triangular base. So if I have a triangular base, and then I want to extrude it up to a point, I can create a pyramid by connecting all three vertices. And 
And so now you see that we have a triangular base, and then we have two, three triangular lateral faces with a slant height that intersects, again, at a 90 degree angle. The base also has one that intersects at a 90 degree angle. So in this case, you will have four triangular areas that you need to find and then add together.